sa kayong lahat? Welcome to Pinoy Crossover guys. Ang host niyo for tonight, Marky Mark. And we got Filipino Talking Basketball as a weekly. And I'm excited tonight because we got our co-host here, JR. How you feeling? Good, good, good. Good to be back here talking basketball. Get ready to you know, talk more about the second half of the season. Mm -hmm. We just finished the awesome. It was a great, amazing uh, weekend. But on our guest tonight, we got the ATV News team. I want you guys to introduce yourself because I'm happy to have you guys here on the studio. Thank you for having us. I'm Don. Uh, Kingu, uh, founder of ATB News, and yeah, I'm glad to be here. I've always loved to play, uh, talk about ball, and, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, and we're super excited to be here. Thanks for having us. Um, I'm Heidi. I've been working with Don for the past two years on, uh, with ATB Crew. Awesome. No, it's great to have you guys here. So we're going to get uh, JR to kind of ask you guys some mm -hmm. questions about, because we want to get to know you guys. How did, you know, all of ATB News kind of got together, and how did it all start? So. Oh, for sure, for sure. Uh, I mean, to... To be honest, like when I started ATB, it's about five years now. Uh, we we started uh, the whole thing, and when it started off, it it was first as a blog, mm -hmm. first you know, and then um, it kind of went into a website, and then I decided to start the page, um, the IG page, and really when I started it out, it was really just um, about news, up to date news, and really and like videos you know edited vi editing videos um highlights it's basically kind of what we specialize in mm -hmm. that's kind of like what i started off with that and then it just kind of just grew into what it is now it kind of didn't really have a plan for it to really be like how it is now it just kind of just morphed into what it is and kind of just ran with it in a sense because you know at first it kind of just started off as a hobby you know, and now it is what it is, you know, media company basically covering anything that's, you know, going on in the city when it comes to terms of basketball. Right. You know, so, and yeah, so, you know, we're just enjoying the growth. Did, did you spoke about your hobby, doesn't, like, did ha the sport of basketball influence you in making, like, this ATV, like, creating ATV news? Yeah, I mean, it all comes from the love of the game. Yeah. Really, you know, that's really what gave me the idea to do it. You know, it's really just passion for it. You know, what can I do to impact, you know, basketball in, in the community or in the city, you know? So, you know, that was the one thing that I always kind of did. I always kind of kept track of what was going on in the NBA and yeah. everything, right? So then my, my sister was kind of like, oh, why don't you just start a blog or start something, do something, you know, mm -hmm. with what you're doing, you know? So I was like, why not? So then that's when it kind of just morphed into, you know, what it was, you know? And, and a lot of it is just like other people in the community as well, kind of helping you out as well, like opening doors for you, you know, bringing you into certain situations, um, social media accounts shouting you out, you know? And that's kind of how, you know, it grows too as well, right? So. It's all that, and then you know, you, before you know it, it's it's what it is, and you're just like, whoa, you know, how did I get here? You know, <laughs> and it's just like, yeah, we're just enjoying the ride. Yeah. You know, we, I mean, we've seen what ATB News is now, uh, but I guess when you started, how did basketball kind of got into you? Like, how did you get started into basketball before ATB News kind of put on together? Because you were the reason why ATB News kind of got started, but how did basketball got into you yeah I mean like basketball I, I played it when I was a kid um, soccer was actually my first sport um, and then um, one of my friends introduced me to basketball and I just kind of fell in love with it right away you know it was almost just like love at first sight you know <laughs> and like um, just forgot about soccer, forgot that it even existed, <laughs> you know, and like, and that was that. And like, my dream was always to, you know, be in the NBA, but mm -hmm. you know, that, yeah. that quickly died. <laughs> How soon was it? High school? Uh, Elementary? Yeah, like, like, um, college? Like, I would say end of high school. In high like, school? You know, like, pretty much died then, you know, yeah. and, and like, I was, I remember working at, at Rogers and like, I hated my job and I was just like, man, like, it wasn't. It was a good paying job and everything, but like I just hated going to work. And it's just like, what can I do to like you know enjoy what I'm doing? You know. Mm -hmm. So, um, 
and like how can I incorporate basketball because I know that's my passion yeah, right yeah. and like everyone says once you're working and doing you know what you love you know you don't feel like you're working right mm -hmm. so it's like I need to find that that passion and, and it's always basketball so once I was able to kind of tie into like what I wanted to do in terms of basketball and like how am I going to incorporate that into like what I do outside of you know the city and you know in terms of work I was able to put the two to two and together and ATB was was born mm -hmm. and and now I'm basically just trying to find different ways that I can you know kind of grow ATB in a sense where you know I'm not really working for anyone else yeah you know it's from both of you what have you seen the growth of you know what ATB news has done for the community of basketball or even even basketball in the city of Toronto as well Maybe you guys have an original goal that you guys had from it and what it has going to now or what are the goals that you guys were able to achieve yeah. from it? Yeah, I mean, like, with ATB, like, to be honest, when I started, I didn't really have any goals, you know, because it, it, it was just something that I just, you know, kind of loved doing and I was just, just doing it just because, you know, mm -hmm. I would have been doing it regardless, right? Mm -hmm. But now that it's kind of morphed into what it is, I kind of had to make goals. You know, because it's just like okay, it's some, it's something now. You mm -hmm. know, so now that it's it's become that. You know, it's I've had certain things that I wanted to cover. You know, certain you know organizations that I wanted to work with that I've seen, and you know that's happened. You know, with with the growth that I've that I've that I've done or I've made of that we've made over the years, mm -hmm. right? think anyone could have really anticipated either at least done mm -hmm. at the time um, like with the growth of social media mm -hmm. how much that can really help I guess um, like propel the page propel mm -hmm. the brands um, just draw attention to it garner like and then when when he started as a passion and then all of a sudden you you see your fans and your followers start to grow and comments and people like supporting you then that's when you have to recognize like what do we do <laughs> how do we continue to, yeah. to hold yeah. these interests yeah like, exactly exactly right, so. and like when that happens you you know that's when you really start to think about you know growing the team mm -hmm. trying to you know find some more creative minds you know to kind of help you um basically feed the audience that you have now, yeah. right? Because now that you, you know your audience continues to grow, you know now you gotta continue to find ways to you know entertain them. Mm -hmm. you know? And you know, that's great in terms of story that you guys had. It's great to hear that from the the creators and the founders of ATB News because it's a big man and social media brand for basketball. And you know I I was I've been following you guys for I think two years now or so. It's been great that you guys were able to come and. Uh, to come in and tell us the story, right? Appreciate so, it. 